Okay, so we have another question here. It's given that AB is parallel to CD and EF is parallel to DQ. So these are parallel lines. It is obvious from the figure as well. And it's mentioned that PDC is 34 degrees. So you can see this is 34. And this angle is 78 degrees. We have to find out PDQ. So let's name them PDQ. That means we have to find out X. Then AED. So AED, let's say this is Y. And DEF, let's say this is Z. So X, Y, and Z we have to find out. Okay. Now, uh, solution. So if you see, since CD is parallel to AB, and if you see, e EP is the transversal. EP is the transversal. Isn't it? Transversal. Then we know that Y will be equal to 34 degrees. And the reason is, they are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are always equal in case of parallel lines. So Y is 34 degree, right? So what was Y? Basically, Y was AED. So hence, you can write angle AED is 34 degrees. Very good. Now, so Y is now known. Now, if you see Y plus Z plus 78 degrees. Now, if you see Y plus z plus 78 degrees this will be 180 degrees why because angle on a line angle on a point around a line is 180 degrees right so y plus z plus 78 degrees what do i mean i mean this angle here is 180 degrees isn't it this is on a line so 180 degrees so and uh, we know y is 34 so hence z plus 34 plus 78 is 180 correct so Z plus, tell me what is 34, so 211 degrees is equal to, am I right? 22, yes, 112 degrees. Fair enough. So hence Z will be equal to 180 degrees minus 112 degrees, which is nothing but 68 degrees. So Z is 68 degrees. So hence PDQ or rather P E DEF, right? Or DEF, angle DEF. Angle DEF is 68 degrees. Angle DEF is 68 degrees. And since Z will be also equal to X, let me do it here. X will be equal to Z. Why? These are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. So hence, X, that is angle PDQ, is equal to 68 degrees as well. So this is how we prove or we find this solution to this question.